Bye, Chronicles. Where are you at? Hey, it's been a minute, you guys. But I had to come and talk to you for a second. About all these shutdowns. You hear me? Vibe with me for a minute, y'all. This is all you have. We waste the time, y'all.
So back to what I was saying. These are all little drills, y'all. These are all little silent drills. And they're, they're throwing their flags up, getting us prepared for the next drill and the next drill and the next drill. And if you think that it's not gonna happen, oh yeah, it's already happening. Okay, and it's like this, y'all. There is no actual zombies, but there are people right now that are walking, talking zombies, okay? They have no idea where we are, um, spiritually speaking, in our life. They don't know who God, they don't have no idea or identity of who they are, whose they are, why they're here. And, and so caught up in social media and, and society, what's happening in this world, watching other people's reality television, that they're not even living in their own reality. See, this is the whole trick of the devil. The whole trick of the enemy, man. So all these shutdowns are again to get you to be fearful and have to solely depend on them. That's what they want. They want you to be solely dependent on them. So this is what I would encourage the body of Christ. It's time y'all to buy up some land, start your own gardens and become financially free independent. Have your own money, have your own businesses, have your own hustles. And don't, do, don't depend on no government for nothing because they're going to use the ones who are completely dependent on them. They're going to be the first ones to go. The first ones to take the mark. The first ones to take all of these little, their agendas. Okay? So mind you, when I'm telling you this now, y'all wake up and listen to what I'm saying is real. You can, you can think as far-fetched and crazy as you want to, but tell me why right now the whole world knows something's about to happen. You don't even have to be a believer. the world's most richest men and women buying up all the farmland right now tell me this why are they buying up all the farmland get all the rights to the water sources and everything do you, you realize if they buy up your land and they have the rights to the water sources you can't have no water unless they say so you guys watch what i'm saying listen to what i'm saying it's happening now bill gates why is he constantly buying up farmland why you think so he can rent it out to the people who need to use it for what? For income, to make a living, the farmers. But then they're gonna have, they're gonna dictate to the farmers what they can and cannot do. Genetically modified foods, here we go. Y'all, this is not, a, this is a setup. This has already been planned from the beginning, okay? This has already been planned. If y'all don't believe me, read your Bible. Like, it, it won't say the words verbatim, but I pray that God just open your eyes and ears so you can understand that the devil has have this plan. God tells us that there's going to be a time that we can't buy ourselves unless we take this mark, the mark of the beast. Y'all think this is a game? This is real. Look, Amazon came out with their first store in America. They already had them in the UK. They already had them over there in Korea and Asia, different parts, China, where you go into the store and you no longer use money. Yeah, Amazon Go Store. First one was made right here in Seattle, Washington, right by where I live. And let me tell you this, they did it on purpose. They know everybody has their phone attached to their hip now. You see all these little memes and stuff, like you saw the cat on the bed going crazy trying to find, trying to find something. He's talking about, oh, this is me in the morning when I can't find my cell phone. How many people really, honestly, feel that way? Did you think that's kind of scary? That's kind of crazy? The, the times are changing, you guys, and it's time to turn the phones off. Turn the, turn the TVs off, turn the internet off, y'all. Go outside and be one with your family. Make memories. Go out and do things together as a family. Because we don't know how long, you guys, it's going to be like this. And I want to leave you with this song here. Please share these videos. Please like these videos. Get it out there for to tell somebody, to encourage somebody. It's time to start prepping. It's time to start gathering. It's time to start having your harvest. It's time to start making it now. Have something for the next seven years. It's time to gather right now. It's time to gather. I love you. My generation is clueless for all the fuss about. What's going on? Glory Jesus is even ruling the cuts in the mouth. I see no interest in all the true intimacy with Christ. Our apathy is easy to see, just like the dots on the dice. We live in a country where worshiping money is all a part of the culture. The worship of God just look at their balls and see what they got on the post. Come on and see what they got in the post. Come on, I can't be holding a child.
the rights to this music, any of it. But I know who does. So y'all, come back and share these videos, like these videos, subscribe, faith over everything. And I'll be coming back again soon. I love you guys. Please pray for me as I pray for you. Please continue to pray. Seek the Lord while you can still find him. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'm out.